<laughs> ah, since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Let's hit the breeze, boys. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he's saying. A more flannel-mouthed bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshall, you see those vultures? I see them. Marston, you and Eli go check it out. Survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. That's how I see it. I can see more vultures up ahead. We best take a look, boys. Come on. Man, more dead bodies. Fire still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. Let's pound leather, boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Didn't you want to try to gang the outlaws? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean? This is too quiet. I got a bad feeling about this. Let's search the area. Nobody's in the shed.
No one here! Break that door down. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> gonna have ourselves fun. There's a deputy waiting for you in the shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. shed in the back as soon as it looks clear. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. Oh, 
chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You folk ain't men. You ain't nothing. You just some men on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes! Man up, boy! We gotta get after those bandits! All right, let's find those bastards. Let's go! What do you think we're waiting anyway, Martha? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bearing in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about bigger and we've moved past the family part. Just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Get ready, boys. Here they come. I'll kill you! Marston, gentlemen, and I'm afraid you're dead. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> There's something that you're still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. Nice to see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. Ain't you, Norman? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! 
Hog time. Let's get him to jail.